Well, earlier this week, or this weekend, I made a video on the Assassin's Creed Shadow situation that is unfolding, uh, diving deep into who Yasuke really was. And the whole Assassin's Creed situation has blown way up. It's absolutely insane at this point. You've got trailers that are getting completely ratioed. You've got Japanese release of the trailer that's getting ratioed in Japan. You've got one side claiming to another you've got wikipedia in particular sitting there having a complete and utter war of words trying to rewrite history on what actually happened well before we get fully into the video do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button the more you subscribe to the channel the more videos you get to see like this and hopefully you can continue coming back even if you don't hit that subscribe button keep my video in your backlog bookmark this page right now or go to my actual youtube page and bookmark it so you can come back to it notifications subscribing whatever as long as you're coming back and viewing what you see here today and in the future i i'd be internally grateful the Wikipedia page for Yasuke has been the subject of edit war after Assassin's Creed Shadow released in their first look at Yasuke as one of the game's protagonists. Yasuke is a historical figure claimed to be the first black samurai. The Wikipedia page, as it now reads, paints more ambiguous picture as records of Yasuke appear to be few and far between. I covered this in my original video of the coverage of all of this. Go check that video out because I went into the details of more or less how Yasuke actually was a slave uh, and then was given to a feudal lord as a slave. And at that point... The term samurai pretty much lost all meaning and it was just someone in a military service or a warrior type retainer-ish sort of situation. That's not necessarily meaning that he was or wasn't the first black samurai in this case. It's more that Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft is using this story to push more DEI and wokeness into video games. That's that's more what this is about. They have other stories they could have told, but they chose this one in particular. But it is an important part in history for when all of this happened because the feudal lord was killed. So with the Wikipedia, it, the real excitement is happening, happening at the talks page of the article. Users are currently having a back and forth about a particular line that clarifies Yasuke's alleged status as a samurai rather than a retainer. The line currently reads, it's important to note that despite popular myth and modern depictions, there is no historical writings nor evidence that Yasuke was ever granted the rank or title of samurai. He was never given or felt nor referred to as one in any writings. Most of our knowledge of his life comes from these messages written by missionaries and locals. The line comes uh, with two links sourced. Users who disagree with the additional field, it's racist backlash to Yasuke's role in Assassin's Creed Shadow. Meanwhile, editors who support the additional claim it needed to prevent the spread of misinformation, Wikipedia editor Elzo Assassin explains. I support the idea that Wikipedia needs to make it clear on this article that there is no evidence that Yasuke was granted the rank of samurai. Many random articles on the internet keep claim calling him a samurai, probably the effect of him being falsely portrayed as such in modern media. And now many people use those articles as source to back up their claim for political reasons. And you actually see this all the way down to the Smithsonian in the States using many of those articles. I, I believe there was one even uh, they linked to CNN linking all of this together. And this is the, the machine that continues to go on in media right now. One media source starts this or one article goes up and then it just snowballs over the years. These, these articles have been building since about 2016 uh, that every stepping stone builds the case further that now 
conflagulates and makes the myth and the legend of Yasuke as something he truly wasn't. And we have seen this throughout history. Um, the idea of a myth or legend starts from one point in, in a timeline, but in this case, there's a lot that says otherwise. There's a lot of documentation that just says, no, this is not what happened here at all. Meanwhile, on more public forums of discourse, Twitter users are posting screenshots of Japanese users questioning the choice and pointing out the potential racism of a foreigner slaughtering Japanese in their country from learning the law. Let's see how well received the latest stunning and brave Assassin's Creed Shadows is in Japan. I'm sure things are going to be fine. Oh my god, when you translate some of these. A game where black people massacred Japanese people in Sengoku period is a perfect example of UBI. It is what happens when political correctness is taken to the extreme. And this is what's going on. This is why everyone has to sit there and go, the narrative design that you see in video games now just changes the context of everything and rewrites things that actually didn't really happen. Uh, this, If this was the case, if Yasuki actually became a samurai that was going around killing people for one year that he knew Nobu Gana, uh, for the one year that he knew him, one year before he was killed, he suddenly is this all-powerful samurai. It takes years to gain that rank. It takes years of skill and knowledge to actually become a samurai, to become a military veteran at this point. Also, that time point, that period of Japanese culture or Japanese uh, military, the idea that samurai followed Bushido kind of went away you had you had a lot of things changing in the military efforts you had the intermingling of warships coming and to and going from japan you had civil war you had a lot of things going on and at that time anyone that took up arms and fought for the japanese people just got called a samurai that that's the difference here that's why there is such a big big problem with everyone out there it, it, it's not so much that yasuke was an african-american or an african from africa being a a samurai it was the fact that samurai had lost all meaning at that point it, it, it didn't mean what it originally meant and it never had that infatuation that samurai like jedi are much different in that that language at that point. Now, after reading everything and doing all the research, and what I believe is Yasuke was, came over as a slave with the missionaries, the Christian missionaries. Uh, then he was traded off to Nobugana, the feudal lord, as a bargaining chip. He was used as money, essentially, to try and cre increase relations with the Japanese people for more warships and more money and to fuel what was going on in the war. Then he became the servant to the feudal lord and in that servitude to the feudal lord he became the bodyguard. He became the muscle. But then the feudal lord within a year of that happening was killed. He and then he was freed by someone else in Japan and then he lived on his days and he just moved on with his life. Did he become this all-powerful samurai? Did he become this all-powerful warrior? Well, there, there isn't really much to say otherwise. And if that was the case, there would have been text. There would have been so much more written about the character. And this is where Ubisoft is now using this story to push more narrative design in a, in a situation of a video game that people wanted to really see the Japanese culture and the Japanese culture being Japanese people doing the Japanese culture, not teaching a foreigner that came in and telling the story of a slaver or a slave, uh, which is more of a westernized sort of take on the situation in from a studio up here in Canada, in Quebec, in uh, for Ubisoft Quebec. Which, you know, I'm in, here in Canada, I'm in Alberta, there is a very 
very strong divide between here in Alberta and what goes on in Quebec. And there's that divide for a very good reason. There's a lot are mistold and just stories are completely not the same. And that is what's really going on with Ubisoft and Yasuke. And why the U uh, Wikipedia page being re-edited over and over, why there is a giant war going on with that stuff right now, uh, why there's a complete divide. And this is what Ubisoft wanted, right? For us to be completely divided against their $130 day one DLC piece of crap video game that's going to come out on the market that won't do as much as they say it will do. Anyway, I'm your Prod Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>